you know, you never really know the effect you have on somebody. This is good. Until they, they, you see them down the road and, and they, they come back and tell you, they say, you know, coach you really impacted my life. And when I, when I, um, transitioned out of the weight room, yeah, you know, when coach got fired, um, I got a lot of, a lot of texts, a lot of calls from some guys. And uh, like Danny Clark, remember Danny Clark? Yeah, he was there, your, linebacker, your, close to your, close to your double your, nickels in your, your career. Yeah, and uh, he called me up, and 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 this is this is a couple years later. Yeah, and and from the time that he was there, so it's 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 sixteen, and so since then he became a Christian. Yeah, and, so far, and he's he's in ministry, and he called me up and says, says Jerry, because I had the privilege to coach him as a rookie. In Jacksonville, and then as a veteran with the Giants. Uh, said, you know, Jerry, when I first met you, I, you know, <laughs> I sound so bullheaded, you know? Yeah. I, mean, you know, I wonder but, where you get that from. But, uh, yeah. <laughs> but Rhett just continued to absorb all that. Yeah. And then, and then you just never know really the impact you have. It's like John Wooden said, uh, uh, you know, you don't know the impact you have on somebody's life until 20 years later mm. you see them. And they come back to you and, you know, they say, Coach, you know, you helped me become the man or the woman that I am today. One, one guy put it this way. He says, when you're, when you're investing in these players, you see them 20 years later, and you're walking down the street and they're walking towards you, are they going to keep coming towards you or are they going to cross the street and go on the other side? Yeah. You know? And I hope and pray that that they come walking toward me because – that I want my players to know that I, I care for them. I push them because I want to be the best they could be. It's good. But I love them in the process. Yeah. And, you know, I, I won't mention the name, but one of our one of our players, you guys you played with, uh, one of our linemen. You got to drop some names, dog. Hey. <laughs> we family, well, dog. Uh, well, I'll tell I'm going to find okay. out. So, so Kareem McKenzie. And I oh, that's, oh come on now. K-Mac, come on. So Dr. McKenzie, by the way. Dr. McKenzie. That's right. Okay. Recently. So Kareem and I are uh, we're in the weight room. It's probably about 2006. Nice. And there's nobody around, just he and I. I gave him a question. Hey, so, so Kareem, how how you doing spiritually? Just an open question. Sure. He said, "Well, I mean, I get this exactly right. Which one was which? But my my uh, my father is Pentecostal. My mother is Jehovah Witness. Something like that." <laughs> <laughs> and and so, you know, I looked at it and said, Kareem, I didn't ask you about your parents. I asked about you. Nice. And Woo! Boom. The conversation just kind of ended. And and I'm not going to push it. But you know what? A couple years later, Kareem came to me and said, Hey, Jerry, start reading the Bible. Said, really? And so now we had we had an open door. And so every day, we said, Hey, what you, would you read about today? And nice. so... You know, he reads something, and I'd be familiar with it. I had a little insight to it. We had this conversation going. Sure. And uh, it's just amazing how how he uh, transformed yeah. in his relationship with the Lord. And, Responded. You know, he's, um, you know, he, he's he's a, he's always on an island, yep. as you know. I've been, I've been try, I, I used to try to get on the McKenzie Island. You know, that, that that's my brother, Willingsboro's finest. We were, you know, we were in high school at the same time. He went to Penn State. He was probably a year, I think a year in front of me. And, um, but I never, I, I remember seeing him at a track meet when he was throwing shot put yeah. in, in high school. So it was, it was dope when he went over to the Jets and we got him a free agency and uh, this big old mountain of a man, but super intelligent. Um, I mean, just a super cool dude. But, um, and having a different vantage point of the same, same growth. I I was I was I was the burning I was the burning bush. So you know you were seasoned, you were a seasoned believer, and I was I was the jagged burning bush. <laughs> there was you know I was in the black and white season, no nuance. Yeah. And um, and I think you know, like I said, I tell people you could do the right thing the wrong way. That's what that's what people misconstrue about the faith. You could do the right thing the wrong way, and so what's right doesn't get delivered because there's a not even the wrong way, there's a better way, right? Mm-hmm. And I think what was powerful about your presence in the locker room was not only was it more mature, something I couldn't understand in the middle of my infancy spiritually, but it was consistent, and that's what everybody's looking for. 